From Hollywood, the Red Skelton Show, brought to you by... Hi, the wash day miracle that gets clothes cleaner than any soap of any kind brings you that zany, lovable, pound of pound, Red Skelton! G-I-P! Suppose we take a look right now and see what Red has in store for us. Patriot's old Iowa Pete. I'm from the Corn Belt. <laughs> As you all know, I think everybody should be up on corn this year. This being the election year, and there's going to be plenty of corn. <laughs> now, you got to be careful what you say around corn, because corn has ears. <laughs> Chicken inspector, boy. I'll bet the boys in New York are trying to figure that one out. <laughs> now, you know, I'll tell you, down last year, the corn's going to be better this year on account of the climate. The corn was so bad last year that the ears were wearing hearing aids. <laughs> I'll bet the sponsors are trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Now, first thing you gotta do is to know about corn. If you're gonna eat corn, you gotta learn how to eat it properly, and neighbors, that's why I'm here tonight. Now, I'm not selling nothing. I'm not giving anything away. Where'd it go? <laughs> Wherever it went, get them, there's meat in them. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first thing you do when you're gonna eat corn is get acquainted with it. You say, hello, corn, what do you hear from the top? <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> now, uh, when you cook the corn, always remember, don't cook it too long or too short. You gotta cut it at a certain size, you see. <laughs> now, it shouldn't be too hard or too soft, just fortissimo. <laughs> now, that ain't the word, but it will have to do. <laughs> now, be sure that it's cooked nice and tender, because sometimes you get interested in eating the corn, and you're liable to slip. Last week, I nubbled three buttons off of the chicken. <laughs> Nubble, that's a new brand of corn I just made up. <laughs> now we come to how to butter the corn. Uh, speaking of butter, reminds me of a little poem I, I read in one of our magazines, The Exterminator's Exec uh, 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 Gazette. <laughs> Tongue gets wrapped around my eye teeth, I can't see what I'm saying. <laughs> The cat's in the fiddle, and the cow jumped over the moon, and butter went sky high. The <laughs> man for the wagon, he's shooting or killing me. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Wait till you hear the rest of this. <laughs> now we have different kinds of corn. Now we have the uh, sweet corn, the, the hard corn, and uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, um, that stuff. <laughs> now, uh, always have the right kind of butter. That adds to the taste of the corn. I had some butter last night that was so strong that it walked up and said hello to the coffee. <laughs> but the coffee was too weak to answer. <laughs> you want to write in for any of these, I'll send them to you. They may put me on after one in the morning. <laughs> now, uh, first we have different people in the way they <laughs> people in the way they eat corn. Now, first you have the businessmen. You've seen these types, the fellow that's always in a hurry. Come on, boys, butter it up. Let's get out of here. <laughs> then you have the uh, the barbers. They they butter like this. <laughs> Of course, you have the painters, they kind of dip in. <laughs> this is all part of eating corn. Now we have different types of people and the way they eat corn. And first, let's start with the lady who is uh, very shy. She has never been out before, and she's afraid that someone will find out. <laughs> I can just look at Sam. <laughs> Sam's working for another network. 
Then you have the, um, the, take it there. <laughs> then you have the society pipe. They don't butter their corn, they spray it on with an itemizer. <laughs> a anamizer. I said to a guy, I said, give me 15 cents for that. He said, I wouldn't give you a nickel, I said, anamizer. <laughs> These may not be good, but at least I'm one actor in television that's really eating up. Of course, it's only chicken feet, but I'm getting it. <laughs> now, Nick, you got, you've got the harmonica type. You suit my Ever see a stenographer eat a uh, corn on the cob? <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing, after you uh, finish the corn on the cob, never throw the corn cob away. They come in mighty handy. <laughs> they come in mighty handy for making pipes. <laughs> give you an idea of what I mean. <laughs> Just keep in mind, old corn cob pipe never die. <laughs> they just smell that way. <laughs> Certainly needs no introduction anywhere in America. A great artist with an outstanding rhythm tune, walking my baby back home. Here's the trio and Nat King Cole. <laughs> Long harmonizing songs, I'm reciting a poem. I'll go by, making me eye, walking my baby back home. We stop for a little while, she gives me a smile, and snuggles the head to the chest. We start into pet, and that's when I get her tackle all over my bed. After I kind of straighten my tie, she has to borrow my comb. One kiss, then we can take it again, walking my baby back home. I try to kiss her, she'll cry. I try her tears all through the night. Hand in hand to a barbecue stand. Right from her doorway we roam. Then it's the pleasure, yes. Walking my baby, talking my baby, loving my baby. I had done me, baby, walking my baby. Matt King Cole, we'll be back a little later. Now back to the scrap book. Let's take a look as Red shows you how to make a quick change in television. <laughs>
I never win. I always I win. Never win. I just rinsed my back, I think. <laughs> Look, that's not quite. After all, we are going in people's living rooms, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's not get sickening about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, I use pride myself. My whole family uses it. My mother and my mother-in-law, I use it. And sometimes I rinse and sometimes I don't. It's all according to how tired I am when I get home. Last night I was so tired I had to do my washing in bed. In bed? <laughs> don't you send your laundry? Out? Out, yeah. <laughs> Here, read it if you want to. It's there. <laughs> no, I don't send my laundry out. I'm married. I do it myself. <laughs> I send some of my stuff out, but I like to do my jokes myself, you know. Oh, well, another thing I like about time. It's so kind to my hands. Oh, you have lovely hands. They've been in pictures for years. <laughs> See, that's our tricky little way of doing the commercial. I'm David Rose in the orchestra. The trio on that King Cole chair of the musical spotlight for him. Because you're mine. Because you're mine, the brightest star I see that's down my life, and it is me. Because you're mine, because you're mine, because you're mine, the breeze that hurries by becomes a melody, and why? Because you're mine, because you're mine, I only know for his love, as I may live, and I may die, I only live for the kiss that you alone may give. That isn't Sunday, it's only my poor heart you hear, and it's a flaw, because You 
Sherbert's Unfurnished Sympathy. <laughs> this will be played in three movements. First, you will hear the first movement. Second, you will hear the second movement. And third, third, you will hear the third movement. Movement. 
operator, you need to clear it. Clear. Hello? Drop dead. <laughs> We would like to thank the looms of Mohawk for sending the weaver over.